Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the hound's tooth. To do this stitch, it's recommended that you use at least two colors that contrast themselves. A very dark color or a dark color and then using white or a very light shade of the similar color. And you can use for this stitch any size of yarn and whatever hook size that that yarn recommends. I'm using worsted white yarn which is 4 ply for the US and 10 ply for Australia and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook or a size H hook. The multiples of the stitch is 2 plus 1. So just go ahead and keep chaining. Uh, you can count it in sets of 2 or you can count it in sets of 10 or whatever, just an even number. You want to end on an even number when you've got your desired width. And once you have, you just chain one more and you're ready to start. So I just chained 14, an even number, just for the purposes of this tutorial to show you how to do the stitch. And now I'm ready to start, so I'm going to go ahead and chain one more. Now to begin, you want to put a single crochet work in the second chain from the hook. So count one, two, and then the second chain, you want to put a single crochet. And then the next chain, you want to put a double crochet. And that is going to be your first row. Next chain will be a single crochet. Then the next chain will be a double crochet. And you're going to continue this down your row. Single crochet, and then in the next chain, a double crochet. Each stitch will have its own chain, so don't work like a single crochet and a half double crochet in the same chain. Work in each chain, single crochet, half, I mean, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way down your row. Okay, I have one more stitch left of my row. I just did a single crochet. Now I want to do a double crochet to end my row. But I'm only going to pull through the first two, not finishing that double crochet. I'm going to leave the last two loops on my hook because I want to change the color. To change the color, you just get your next color and you're just going to fold it in half to create a loop here on the end. Then you're going to use this loop and pull it through the two loops that are left on your hook. Now pull just to tighten up your original color and then you can just pick up your new color and start working with this. So for row two, you're going to begin it exactly like you did here. You're going to start with a single crochet. So you're only going to need to chain one, turn, and then single crochet in that first stitch, your first double crochet. And then in your next stitch, which is a single crochet, you're going to put a double crochet. And you're going to continue repeating row two throughout your whole whatever project that you're, you're making. So it's going to be changing every row, chaining one, and then your first stitch will always be a single crochet. And then you just start the pattern, double crochet, single crochet, then double crochet, then single crochet, all the way down your row. And then when you get to your very last stitch of the row, do like you did before. If you want to change colors, don't complete it. Just leave that those last two loops on your hook. Then grab up your color again, which is usually the darker color. So you'd pull through only two. Every row, you should cut your yarn. So leave a little bit of a tail so that you have like here, a bit of a fringe, which you can make thicker later on if you want. And then you would just pull through your new color and then start the next row with the next color. On this side, you can see how the lighter color shows up more. This side, it'll be more of the darker color. And I'll show you on this project here. So as you can see, the darker color shows up more on one side and then the lighter color shows up more on the other side. So you can choose what side that you, you like better. So that's it. That's how you continue to do the hound's tooth. 
I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share and comment down below. It helps me out so much. Also, if you're a first time watcher or you haven't got a chance to, to subscribe, you can go to the main channel page, hit that subscribe button, and right next to it, you'll see a little bell button. To If you click that, you'll always be notified whenever I release a new video tutorial. If you're wondering what kind of hook that I was using in this video, it is a wooden furls hook. You can find that link down below. And if you want to order yourself one, I recommend that you tell them that you want to order it with an extended hook. If not, you're only going to get half the size. Also, I have a Facebook group called Crochet for the Masses. You can find the link down below as well. And you can share free pattern links there, pictures of projects you just finished or you're currently working on, or just ask questions if you're stuck. So that's it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching.